c'est Johan. Moi, c'est Pierre. On s'est rencontrés à l'école, l'ENSI. On s'est rencontrés là-bas au cours de, de, de différents projets euh, qui nous ont euh, très rapidement amenés à travailler sur le sujet du tatouage robotisé. On s'est toujours posé la question de réinterpréter les outils, de, de redéfinir les, les choses qu'on qu qu utilise. On a utilisé une imprimante 3D qu'on est venu transformer pour euh, lui permettre de tatouer euh, grâce à une aiguille. Vanessa, mm -hmm. yeah. the Artists in Residence Program, got in touch and said, you know, we've got these French guys who are here thinking about tattooing with machines and would you like to have a chat with them? And I was like, I think I know who they are. That's cool. <laughs> I'm keen to have a chat. Immediately, you know, we were thinking along the same lines. We just wanted to see a big, mean, industrial robot um, doing this really subtle interaction with a human. Our research is really focused on this more intimate relationship that people are likely to have with machines in the not-too-distant future. And this project is really pushing that to the limit. Inherently, these machines, they're really designed to be working separate to people behind big barricades. And a lot of this is brand new territory, it's stuff, the standards don't exist for this. So we, our health and safety team went through that in minute detail and got advice from external groups and they're working towards open sourcing this sort of knowledge and working with other universities and research institutes to really open up this area of robotics. First we had to scan the body part and get it into the world of the robot, the language that the robot understands and that's geometry basically and then get it into Dynamo, which is our graphical parametric design environment, to apply the graphics onto that scanned surface, and then export the robot code to actually tell the robot what to do. So there's all this energy that had been expended and was uh, currently being focused through this big industrial robot arm. All that was being focused down to this tiny little point, you know, the, the tip of a needle the tattoo gun started up. Everyone in the space was holding their breath. It was all tense. The needle pierced the skin and then just started doing what it does, what it's meant to do so elegantly and precisely and, and beautifully.